Hey guys, Uber Life here. Um, it is Saturday night. It's raining, and I just dropped off. Been having a great day. Um, just dropped someone off at JFK, and uh, I was using Lyft, and drove. And as soon as I dropped them off, I got another pickup for the same terminal. So I was very excited, and it said uh, long trip expected. Probably going in the city. Um, just with traffic and everything. Um, so I got excited. I started to drive around to go back in Terminal 5. And there was a sign for parking this way and straight. And guess what? I went straight. And I had to go all the way around to come back to Terminal 5. Uh, the guy ended up canceling. And I was like, shit. Because the one thing about JFK here in New York is... There's nothing good around it. You can't just like, okay, you know, go drive 10 minutes, maybe, maybe 10, 15 minutes. There's some decent um, areas to go to, but everybody else seems like it's uber pool heaven over here. It's like, uh, it's really not anything good. It's 40 minutes for me to get home. So I'm sitting here in the lot, hundred some odd people in front of me on Lyft. And 35 out of 40 now for Uber. Um, I've already been here like 20 minutes. I'm not one to sit around. I missed that ride because of one turn. Fuck. Anyway, it's kind of frustrating. And sitting around on a Friday night, Saturday night, sorry, Saturday night, to wait for a ride. I don't really know the alternative. LaGuardia, I'm close to home. You're close to um, Astoria. You know, there's places to go. Over here, I don't really know a good neighborhood. I've driven away from JFK several times just to get off the first couple of exits and nothing good. Never really found anything good. In fact, I'd pick up somebody and they'd bring me right back by the airport. Um, I guess if anybody out there has any suggestions for me, Please let me know. I just hate sitting in this parking lot. But I have some good news. I have started driving for Lyft today. And so I'm bouncing the two off of each other. And um, so my takes on Lyft, so far so good. Um, I'm talking to people that are getting in the car and they're like, yeah, we like Lyft better than Uber. The guys are nicer. They're, they're more professional. They don't cancel on you as much. And, uh, I hate to tell it, I hate to break it to them, but it's the same drivers for everything. Um, but if that's their experience and that's what they like, that's great. Um, Uber seems to be, I mean, Lyft seems to be really cool. I do like the feature that the passengers can put their picture in because a lot of times I'll pull up to an intersection, I have no idea what John looks like. But with Lyft, they give the uh, passenger the option of adding their photo. And that to me is an extra stent of service. But I picked up one girl today and she had a photo and we were talking about it and she's like, well, it's kind of risky because you're being picked up in front of your house. They get your phone number and they know what you look like. It's, it's a lot of information for drivers that are, you know, one of 30,000 you know, Uber and Lyft drivers here in New York. So, anyway, I think that's a great feature for me and for the driver, so I can see who I'm picking up. I've literally had people beating on the side of the car and saying, you passed me. I'm like, I don't even know what you look like. How do I know who you are? The app says to go here. Anyway, um, parking lot JFK. Well, I'm making this video, so maybe I'm uh, doing something quality with my time. Um, I don't know what to do. I'm going to ride this out and see how long it takes. I've been here about 15 minutes. Um, I'll give it another, I don't know, 10, 15 minutes. It's surging in other places in the city and stuff. It's like, ah. So I'm kind of sort of not liking JFK runs. Um, just because of this factor, but maybe there's something out there you guys can help me out with and tell me what you think I should do in a situation like this when you have to go wait in the lot. Tell me your opinion, okay? See you on the ride. See you guys. 
see you on the road like subscribe don't pass out on me <laughs> later okay forget that it's saturday night i'm not sitting in some parking lot waiting in some queue for <laughs> for a ride sorry just don't have the patience um you know if you're driving like 40 50 60 hours a week and maybe that's a great time for you to you know to take a break good for you you know read a book twiddle your thumbs but if my butt is sitting in this seat i'm here to make money and i could be sitting at home with a you know tom collins jack daniels and coca-cola in my hand versus sitting in some parking lot sorry but i am looking for advice on what to do after jfk i'm just gonna head you know halfway back to the city and get off the highway somewhere um speaking of like being on the highway you're not going to get any rides if you're on the highways you know um uber and i don't think lyft's any different it's not going to give you anything um i know uber doesn't so you have to be off in some you know anywhere um if you leave jfk i've i've already tried a few times to kind of get off the first couple of you know exits those aren't any good i don't think the neighborhoods around here really i don't know i don't know my experience i just kind of you know got a bunch of uber pool calls or i drive 10 minutes away from the airport just to get a ride to come back towards the airport i'm like jesus get me away from jfk but i'm looking for advice so if you got any give it to me i'll take it and uh don't miss those turns jesus i lost a whole trip i lost an hour of work because i missed a turn